welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel with me, your girl, No Fuses. Last time we went against some armored beasts. We got saved by Big Brother Rufus. And uh, we're going to see what happens right after because we were like in mid cutscene. So let's get right into it. If you guys like this video, then don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. The next morning, Reen and the other members of Group A beg for up to the city and set off with Sarah. Are we back in the school or? Oh my god. Oh, Monday. So, what'd you do this weekend? I don't know. Got arrested. Fought some big beasts. Stop the political war. You know, the huge. Nothing big. How are they all gonna nod silently? Who are you? So that's class seven, eh? A little rough around the edges, but they managed to get through in one piece. I think I see now why you're so fixated on them, Sarah. And Rufus Alborea. I've heard people say he's the sharpest noble of the bunch, but still. What business could he possibly have over by the canyon so early in the morning? Is that what you were about to ask? Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Pay me no mind. I'm but a low-ranking noble. I don't believe that at all. Who are you, really? I've been watching over those young students to see what they're capable of. Much like yourself. Really, now? You'll forgive me for asking, but you look awfully like someone a couple of acquaintances mentioned to me a long time ago. You wouldn't happen to have some fancy-sounding stage name or anything, would you? <laughs> he already knows what's up. He's like, uh-uh. You look like someone I know. <laughs> You'll just have to find that out on your own. Your acquaintances wouldn't be a certain innocent young couple from a foreign land, though, would they? You'll just have to find that out on your own. <laughs> Indeed. Well, if you'll please excuse me, it's almost time for the airship to depart, and I really must be getting back to Heimdall. May we meet again, young Bracer. Do give my regards to the Purple Lightning, if you would. He knew a lot for a low-ranking noble. Uh, as if the situation weren't messy enough. It seems we've got another source of trouble on our hands now. Yeah. I'd better let the others know, just in case. They're like, yeah, there's some fancy-dancy dude going around that seems to know more than he should. Uh, we might need to look out for him. <sighs> and you call yourselves teenagers. That's what we do. We eat, sleep, and chill. That's all we oh, do. Me, you actually get to go to sleep every night. You should be full of energy by this point in the day. This comes from the person who can literally sleep at the drop of a hat. Literally, we saw you talk to us and two seconds later you fell asleep. <sighs> Give me a break. Considering all that's happened this weekend, I think we can be forgiven for being a little tired. Well, that's certainly true enough. Group B had their fair share of problems to deal with as well, but they weren't quite as serious as yours. Although they were of a similar nature. He's like, wait, what? Exactly? Well? Did they also wind up getting involved in a conflict between the two factions? More or less. St. Ark is another territory belonging to one of the four great houses, after all. So they got themselves caught up in a bit of trouble. The four of them managed to get through it together in the end, though. Well, that's good. <sighs> that's a relief, yeah. But, Sarah, just what kind of mirror did they pour into buffing up Aurochs Ford anyway? 
What we saw was nuts. So I've heard. And the Provincial Army isn't the only force trying to improve its armaments. The Imperial Army is doing the same, with the Blood and Iron Chancellor and his 20 armored divisions squarely at the center. Really? <clears throat> how should the Military Academy... How should we act in a situation like this? Thor's graduates join both the Provincial and Imperial Armies, right? Yeah, so they're just kind of like, uh, when we graduate, what are we about to walk into? That's literally what she's asking. That's nothing you need to be worrying about. Not right now, at least. <laughs> she's like, you guys are far from graduating, so don't even worry about this. You're at the Academy to learn. That's all you should be focusing on. While you're exactly. there, it's true that you may be forced to acknowledge some of the more unpleasant realities of Erebonia. But I believe there's something special to be gained from that. Something you can only gain now, at this moment in time. So long as you're together with your friends and classmates. People for whom there is no substitute. Uh, uh... Maybe when you graduate and go out into the world, much of what you've learned at Thor's will have little meaning. But I still truly believe that sometime, somehow, what you experience as part of Class 7 will be an invaluable treasure to you. She's pretty much having a very wise moment, and she's just kind of like, hey, just treasure being a teenager, treasure being young, learning, and being at this stage of life. Don't worry about the reality of adulthood right now. Like, don't worry about this. We got this. Just worry about being kids. Just, just do your thing. It may not seem that way now, but I know in my heart that it will someday. Instructor. <laughs> They're just like, wow, she's being so serious. You almost had me there for a moment. <laughs> that was the last thing I ever thought I'd hear from you. She's like, oh. Hey, what's with all the laughing? I, I, I'm really sorry. You, your words were quite touching, but... Coming out of your mouth, they were just... Painfully droll. Something we can only gain now, at this moment in time. So long as we're with our friends and classmates, for whom there is no substitute. He, he's about to laugh. <laughs> Stop that, are you trying to kill me? You kids are awful. I was being serious, you know. Why must this instructor thing be so difficult sometimes? She was like, I was being serious in trying to be do deep talking with you guys i mean that's that's pretty much what you get for being a jokester all the time they're never gonna take it <gasps> there she is she's just watching the train go by like oh, oh looks peaceful. like they got back okay wait were you watching them the whole time so glad i didn't have to bust in and save them <laughs> i thought it was all over when i got spotted at the fort though Wait, so she was about to bust in the sewer and save us? So everyone had our back. Everyone had our back. This girl had our back. Rufus had her back. Sarah had our back. We were going to be saved regardless. It was just who was just going to come in first. Hey, hey, White Rabbit here. Uh-huh. Everything went A-okay. Uh, don't sweat the details. I did what I was supposed to. No sign of them, though. But I did find a bunch of other interesting stuff. What? Fake intel? Someone managed to get a leg up on you and Gramps? Must have been one heck of a guy. Huh? Me? I'm gonna go meet up with Claire now. Gotcha! See you then, Lecter! Man, we got like a child spy ninja over here.
I thought she went off to wherever she went off. But I guess because she, I think she thinks that it's her fault that they got into the trouble that they did. So she was like, oh, snap, let me try to fix this. The bottom just I didn't do that one? Keep up the good work. <laughs> good showing, everyone. I don't remember this mission. Everyone's linked to. Uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna save. Trophy earned. The Verdant City. Yeah, I definitely want to go ahead and save. That's for freaking sure. Ah, we're back in the good old Trista. It was the middle of June. With summer well underway, a rainy spell seemed to hang over Trista. With our field study wrapped up, the other members of Class 7 and I returned to normal school life. But just when we thought we'd gotten used to the challenging lessons and the breakneck workload, oh God, a what moment happened? of dread washed over us, making our blood run cold. As you all know, tomorrow marks the start of your midterm exams. I'm no good with all these papers and essays and circling answers, so I won't really be able to help you much. Oh my god, another thing that you never want your teacher to say out loud to you. But I'm administering some of your tests, so I'll be cheering you on from the sidelines. Make me proud, class! Sometimes I lie awake at night and wonder how you became our teacher. As I recall, aren't you in danger of a lecture by the vice principal if our performance isn't up to par? Oh, I'm not too worried about that. Most of you tend to get pretty high grades anyway. I can hardly wait to see how well you all do. Remember, the results will be announced next Wednesday. Your scores will be posted on the board by rank, so you can see how you compare to the other classes in your year. Oh, the sooner this week is over, the better. I can almost taste the tedium. I'm not gonna let Emma squeak by me again this time. <laughs> oh, one more thing. They're gonna stick the average score for each class up there on the board, too. Our class averages? I suppose their intent is to furnish us with motivation in the form of class bragging rights. Pretty much. Well, I do enjoy a challenge. I'm smarter than you. No, I'm smarter than you. Anyway, I know it's only noonish, but I think that's enough homeroom for today. You guys can stay here and study, or just head on back to your dorms. Up to you. Prez, if you'll do the honors. Yes, instructor. Stand, bow. Jeez, what should I do? I could, I could stand a bone on just about everything. Honestly, but my biggest worry right now is math. Oh, I'm the same as you. I hate math. I wouldn't mind doing a few study sessions with you if you think it would help. I need to review my math anyway. I'm not sure how much time I would be spare though. You mean it? That'd be a huge help. My big biggest weak spot is Aberdeen history, I guess. I doubt that comes as a huge surprise to anyone. I think I understand all the material we've got over directly in the class, but there are some finer points. I can aid you with that, but if you'd like. Though in return, I'd appreciate a fresh pair of eyes to help revise my military science essay. It'd be my pleasure. Would you like to stay with me, Fee? I guess. Oh, would you two mind if I jumped in too? I could use a little refresher on my classics. Oh, of course, you're more than welcome. Would you like to join us, Laura? No, I... I appreciate your invitation, but I'll have to pass this time. There's a subject interview in private. I'll see you all later. 
Huh? What's up with her? Hmm. Maybe I'm just being too much into it. I could have sworn I saw her looking over here. Hey, Reed. Eh, what is it? You heading back to the dorms? You're totally welcome to come and study with us if you want. Hmm, I wasn't planning on heading straight back. I might come join you guys a bit later. Alright then. Perhaps we'll see you later. Free day! Talk to the strangers will allow you to study with them. When you run out of bonnie points, the time of the day will change to evening and the main story will advance. First things first, let's stock up. Come on! Oh, are you two studying? Lissa probably met up with Laura because she's worried about her. Yeah, we both figured we had a lot of art to brush up on. It's probably not our most important subject in the grand scheme of things, but it doesn't mean we shouldn't try. I've never had to deal with a series of exams, right? In a row like this, laziness could very well be a taint amount to failure. So join us, Reen. Sure, why not? The exam is supposed to be focused on the basic illustration, right? You got it! Let's get started! How about you ask the first question, Reen? Sure. Okay, first question. Elsa, what is a destiny? I think it's a drawing that makes use of monochrome lines of varying heaviness to highlight the way the light hits its subject. You think correctly. So Laura, what exactly is a sketch? A sketch portrays its subject roughly, with very little in the way of detail. I suppose it would be like in two in early first draft of the drawing. That's right! Sketches and destinies are basically two sides of the same coin, since both are used to start a painting. The big difference is that Dayton usually takes some time to finish, but the sketches are pretty quick. But there's a method that's even quicker and more basic than sketching. Any ideas, Laura? Hmm, that would be a crocus, I believe. You two know your stuff. Maybe that just means we should be using harder questions to study with. Hmm, let me see if I can find some. Hey, Reen, if you want, I can ask the next set of questions. It's hardly effective study if you don't get the answer, to answer any questions yourself. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Just give me a minute here. I'll find you a really good one. Well, if you insist, <laughs> maybe we should expect this. He really is a kind-hearted person. And so the three continue their art study lesson. Yes! With waifus! Where's my next set of peoples? I know those two are in there. Um, because these are all bonding and I've only got like, what, two? So I need to choose very wisely. It's really gonna come down to who I want to bond with the most. Um, because I battle with these people. So, the, so I'm thinking like, strategy-wise, like, whose links are going to be better suits me. Um, I think I might go for V and Emma, and then I don't want to go for those two right now because who knows when I'm going to go after the president and Crow. So I might go see Crow right after. Okay. I can't memorize things like this. Basically, it's all pointless. Fee, that seems a little harsh. Oh, no, why don't you join us, Fee? I'm sure we make studying more enjoyable for Fee, though. That sounds like a good idea to me. The exam's going to be focused on the War of the Lions, right? That's right. Shall we start from the beginning, then? After that, Draco gathered soldiers in the North Highlands. In the year 952 of the Senate calendar, he liberated the capital, bringing the war to an end. Excellent, well done, Fee. I guess it's stuck. 
Incredibly, the war came to an end in July of that year, which is next month, so it's easy to remember. They say it was raining in Harmdo that day, but the legend has it that the moment Emperor Dracul stepped into the city, the rain stopped. Huh? That's neat. Yeah, seems like a story that'll stick in the memory. <laughs> You're a pretty good teacher, aren't you? Well, I'm always using tricks like these to help you remember things. If you were having fun while you study, then it makes it that much easier for the material to stick in your memory. Which is very true. Interesting. So that's your method. Well, if you can do it, we can do it too. Shall we finish this stuff off then? Please. Ring stayed with Emma and Fee for a while longer, making sure they knew their everybody has to back to front. Oh, she's almost at link two. And I wanted to go see Crow right after. So let's go see him. Come on. Hold on, let me guess. You're studying away nice and digitally while your orbital lamp suddenly went out. Swing and miss. You two seem pretty relaxed despite how close the midterms mid are getting. Who do you think you're talking to? I know better than anyone that's supposed to start studying this late in the game. How's that working out for you? Crow's actually pretty good when it comes to practical stuff. Survival skills, first aid, all those kinds of things. Really? See? All that stuff you don't need to stay for- Exactly! Oh my god, so many of people, including myself, went through high school and was pretty much like... Where are we gonna use this? Ever? In life, <laughs> like when we had to learn algebra and all this, I was like, when am I ever gonna use this unless I'm trying to be a mathematician or a scientist? Like, wh where where do I need this? I, I don't need to learn this. But if stuff is that you need, like life skills, then I'm all for it. So I can understand where Crow is coming from, but you still need to pass those tests though. To hold you back a year. Who knows how long? No. He said he's a second year, right? So he's still passing, probably by the skin of his teeth. But if you're feeling shaky about any of it, I'm happy to teach you a thing or two. Sure, why not? Sure, I'll take you up on that. Wait, you're serious? <laughs> he didn't think we'd actually take him on his offer. The idea of crow teaching enemy anything is a little unnerving. Were you just joking? Nah, that's cool. Might as well show you the ropes. Cool if we borrow a chair to George. Go for it. And so Crow passed all his knowledge on to Reen. That about sums up what they'll be testing you first years on. You should probably make sure you've got CPR down too. I do actually need to brush up on that. Do you think it will come up? It's only one of the most basic things anyone would expect out of Thor's student, so it wouldn't hurt to know. Right, here's how it goes. If you find someone who's collapsed, first up is to check whether or not they're conscious. If they're unconscious, it's safe to assume that they're in trouble. Next, you're going to want to shout for help. You're not going to want to try and handle the situation on your own, got it? The more people you have helping you, the better their chances are to survive. That makes sense. Next up is making sure they're breathing. If they aren't, or something weird about the way they are, it's CPR time. This basically involves giving them a repeated combination of chest compressions and rescue breaths. You need to keep this up until their pulse and breathing return, got it? Don't give up until the very end. Understood. He does seem like the kind of person I would count on in a gym. Yeah, this is the person you need if you ever, like, injure yourself. I guess George was right about him being good at practical stuff. Now all you gotta do is put that into practice. If you see a girl in need, you better get right in there. Oh my god, Crow. <laughs> He's not learning CPR to learn CPR. He wants to learn so he can kiss a girl. When she wakes up and sees you saved her life, instant fireworks. Your hands and lips will be in the right spots already. <laughs> oh my god, he kills me. Every time I think anything positive about you, you go and say something like that. Oh well, this was useful though. Thanks for taking the time to teach me. Good luck, my son. Go out there and get some grades for me. Aha. Your bomb crow strengthened. Oh, it's already time to head home. I didn't even realize because of the rain. I guess I should get ready to head back to the dorms.
Excuse magic me? Magic umbrella. <laughs> Says a lovely voice. Is it the president? No. I do apologize for stopping you on a rainy day like this. Do you know if this is the building in which I might find the principal's office? Oh, yeah. You're in the right place. His office is in the east wing, first floor. The receptionist might have gone home already, but I can show you the way if you'd like. <laughs> Thank you for your kindness. But I couldn't possibly trouble you more than I have already. I'll be able to find the way, I'm sure. Well then, if you'll excuse me, Master Reen. How did this maid already know who I was? He's like, hold on! How does she know who I am? Reen? Ah, uh, my future wife. Uh, hey there, Elisa. Heading back to the dorm? Yep. I and the others are staying a little longer to cram a little more. But I figured I'm not gonna learn much more today, so I might as well call it a night and start prepping for tomorrow. Right, right. Um, well, you're going my way, so what do you say we head back together? Sure, okay. Hey, it's not often the two of us get to walk back to the dorms together, is it? Oh, look at her, she's blushing. If you look really close to her face, you can see a little blush. I got something good out of this downpour. Is there even a filter between your brain and your mouth? Nah, no need for that between friends. But you're in good company. My sister's asked me that before, too. <sighs> she must be a saint to have put up with you all these years. <laughs> anyway, how do you feel? All prepped and ready for our exams? Not sure. I gave it the best I've got. Still, I've got that nagging feeling I could have hit the books a little harder. <laughs> I wish I was as smart as you. Back when we took the entrance exam, only Emma and Machia scored higher than you, right? Eustace came in a little higher than me, too. Back home, I usually came in near the top in exams. I guess that goes to show that Erebonia has no shortage of smart people. No doubt about that. Bookworms pour in here from all corners of the Empire. You said you're from Ruhr, right? Coming out on top in a city that size is still pretty impressive. I suppose, though that was just at the Sunday school level. Uh, aren't you curious about, you know, my family and stuff? You mean the mysterious Alisa R, agent of national intrigue? Well, yeah, of course I am. But you probably have good reasons for keeping it under wraps, so I don't want to pry. It's not that major or anything, especially compared to what you and Phoebe told us about yourselves. I've never really thought my family circumstances were a big deal, though Phoebe's past sure came as a surprise. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Jaeger. I'm the Grim Reaper. I'm like, whoa, okay. But now, when I look at her, what her life in the Jaeger Corps must have been like. It seems like Instructor Sarah knows more about her past than we do. Back at the entrance ceremony, I got the impression they'd met before. Same. Oh, speaking of weird meetings, I ran into someone kind of strange over here. Oh? Yeah, I was talking to her just before you called to me. Reading told Alyssa about the woman the maid uniform. A maid uniform. who knew your name? This isn't the part where it turns out she knows you because you've tried to hit on her in town before, is it? <laughs> As if an upstanding guy like me could pull off the Casanova act. She seemed a couple years older than us. Maybe 20? A maid in her early 20s. Hmm? Something wrong? No, no, just thinking. There's no way it could really have been her. Mother keeps her far too busy to find the time to come here. Uh... He's a, uh... <laughs> Anyway, maybe the upper-class dorm has a new hire starting out or something? 
Though that wouldn't explain how she knew your name. Maybe you're just more popular than you let on. <laughs> if only. Nah. Oh, it's Wednesday. We can check out the midterms. The next day, the first of our four grueling days of midterm exams began. Is it gonna ask me questions again? Oh my god, it is. No! <sighs> the Middle Age War of the Lions was brought to an end by the Emperor where it is at. I remember 952. So, uh. This should be the right answer. Alright. Good. Please don't ask me what you more. Oh my god, it is, isn't it? No. No! Mr. A wants to draw a rough colored watercolor image. Where the following styles would be most prone? Let's draw a rough colored. It's not tracing, and it's not sketch. Maybe this. Nope, no it's not. Oh well. Thursday. Oh no. Figure with the fixed military formation, what type of unit is currently advancing? 13 events. Okay, it's not engineer. I know that for a fact. Um, probably not command either. Uh, so infantry or armored. Let's let's just go with armored, please. Yes, thank you. The following statements about Orma is all permit to be true, which is not. Abilities change based on quartz. Okay, orbital energy recovers over time. Allow arts usage without quartz. They synchronize with their user. Abilities change based on court. That's probably true. Orbital energy recovers over time. That's probably true. Allow arts usage without quartz. That's probably not true. There we go. Uh, we've only gotten one wrong so far. How many questions are there? Political economics question. Of the following laws enacted last year, which came into the force first in Heimdall? <gasps> I don't know. I'm gonna say this. Oh my god, it's right. I just guessed. I really just guessed. Please, no more questions. Please, no more questions. I'm, I'm literally guessing. Oh god, there's one more and it's Sarah's class. Okay, emergency CPR is divided into roughly four steps. Check if the person's breathing, check if the person's unconscious. Okay, this is Crow. Perform chest compression to resonant, call for help in a loud voice. Okay, so that's basic permanent order. So... I, okay, so it's gonna be D, B, A, C. So D, B, A, C. It's not? Oh my god, Crow, I failed you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Congratulations on making it through the four days of exams. 
and we will figure out uh, what our grades are in these exams in the next video. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I have ran out of time, but that's okay because I'll be back with a new video pretty soon. If you guys like this video and want to know what happens with his grades or who that mysterious maid was, then go ahead and give this video a nice thumbs up or subscribe to the channel for more. Bye!